Welcome to a demonstration of the software. In the next few moments from now, I'll be showing you how you can take advantage of this software that's been inspired by the Google Hummingbird update. The software leverages the power of nine major search engines, pulling back suggestions that get searched for by real users. It gets suggested data using three methods of search. One of the methods is your typical keyword suggestion scraper. This feature has some advanced search options that we'll be going over shortly. But the second and third methods of search is where the real treasure lies. It's based on questions and how-tos, something that was worked on after being inspired by the Google Hummingbird update. With Google now pushing to understand more complex question type of queries, we knew this data was badly needed. These methods of search come with a library of over 150 pre-configured questions and how-tos, along with multiple advanced search functions. They allow you to drill down to find out the most important questions and how-to topics for any niche. We'll come back to take a closer look shortly. The software also comes with its own search functions. The search functions allow you to build your own library of keywords that you can later search for and sort. And when working with Google, then you're able to select from over 130 different Google locations, so that you're able to get local searches and suggestions no matter what your location. The software also runs whilst minimized. It's lightweight, multi-threaded and supports proxies. Now let's take a closer look at each feature along with examples of how they can be used. Let's start with the Keyword Suggestions tab. Here, you can search for regular keywords or physical products. A physical product search will search for model numbers, whereas a regular search allows you to search for everything else. There's a total of three advanced search features that can be performed. Let's take a look at them inside of Google. The first type is the most basic type where we add the keyword and get suggestions like this. The more advanced suggestion features work something like this where we add our keyword and then letters of the alphabet. This prompts Google to give us even more real-time suggestions. Letters of the alphabet are also added before the keywords, something like this. And you can even have the software perform all of the features at the one time, so that you can get all real-time suggestions scraped and saved to a single file. Now let's see the software do this for us. Inside of the software, we first select what search engines we want to work with. We then add our keywords inside of the text box or we can import them. We then select our search type and the search method and then click start. We can now minimize the software to the taskbar while we continue to do other things. And when wanting to show the software, then it's as simple as right clicking and clicking show. As you can see, the software is working away and has already scraped plenty of keywords. Once complete, we can view the saved keywords, simply click to view the results and open the saved text file. I performed a keyword and A to Z search using only three search engines. You can get many more keywords when using more search engines and different search methods. The Keyword Suggestion tab is extremely useful to find plenty of real-time keyword suggestions for your niche. Now let's move on to the Question Suggestions tab. This is one of my favourite methods of search. By using the Question Suggestions tab, it's possible to scrape for questions that have been searched for by users. These questions provide us with valuable information that can be used in many ways. Let's run a few question searches to get a better understanding of what data can be obtained and how we can actually use it. I'll start by entering my keyword. Now I'll select a number of questions to work with. These will be used to prompt the search engines to provide questions based around our keyword. And to make sure I only get questions and questions that are only using my keyword only, then I'm going to select these two checkboxes right here. And in the same way that the Keyword Suggestion tab allows you to perform the more advanced A to Z type of searches, then this can be performed for question searches too. For now, we'll only use the basic method of search. And once the process has been complete, all of the real-time questions that have been scraped will be saved to a file. Let's take a closer look. 
These suggestions were scraped using only a number of questions out of the 150 supplied and no advanced methods of searches were used. When using advanced methods of search, then you'll get hundreds of suggested questions that are being given by the actual search engines. These are actual questions entered by real users. This is something that tools such as the Google Keyword Planner will not provide you with. Now let's take a closer look at some of the data. You have questions such as, how is weight loss calculated? What weight loss pill actually works? What are the benefits of cinnamon for weight loss? Which weight loss app is the best? When is weight loss noticeable to others? And there's so many more. As you can see, these questions are like gold. Not only do they tell us what type of questions are being searched for by users, but they also give valuable insights to our niche. And the data has many uses. You can use the questions to create topics on, use them as anchor text for when creating backlinks, or even use them for general research. The choice is yours and the scope is endless. And if you felt like exploring niches, then you can perform a search by selecting multiple questions without adding any keywords. This will bring back the most popular questions in all sorts of niches. It's a great and fun way to start discovering new niches. Let's move on to the How To tab. The suggestions from this tab will allow you to find how to topics that users are typing into the search engines. This information can be used to create how to topics, how to videos or for further niche research. The how to tab works very similar to the questions tab, but instead it will find real time how to queries. Let's start by selecting some of the pre-configured how to topics. You can select them all or handpick the ones you want to work with. Now let's add our keywords. We can add multiple keywords directly to the keyword area or import a list of keywords for the software to work with. For this example, we'll add it manually. Now we'll select the type of searches to perform. For this search, we'll use the more advanced A to Z method of search. Now let's select the search engines to work with and then click start. For every how to topic selected, the software will perform 26 searches. This is because the script runs through the English alphabet, which has 26 letters. OK, let's take a closer look at the results. We now have hundreds of how-to topics based around our niche. We have topics such as how to avoid saggy skin after weight loss, how to boost weight loss with diet and exercise, how to boost my metabolism for weight loss, how to combat weight loss during pregnancy, how to control weight loss goals, and so many more. As you can see, this data is very valuable. It provides us with real-time how-to topics that are being searched for by users in our niche. We can now go and create videos, articles, and helper topics for our main keywords or whatever you so wish. And just like the questions tab, you can easily find out the most popular how-to topics that are being searched for on the major search engines by simply performing a search without adding any keywords. This will reveal the most sought after how-to topics and it's an excellent way to find and tap into new niches. And because the software makes it super easy to get thousands of suggestions for keywords, questions and how-tos, and because it works with nine of the major search engines, it just wasn't going to be complete without having its own inbuilt search functions. This allows you the ability to build your own library of thousands of keywords. You see, after performing multiple searches for various keywords, you're going to have thousands of keywords on your computer. The inbuilt search functions allow you to have full management over all the keywords you scrape. Simply enter the keyword you're wanting to search for and enter the location of your scraped files. The software will go through each one and save your selection to a file of your choice for quick and easy access and management. Being able to manage a library of thousands of keywords has never been this easy before. And that's all there is to it. Simply click the buy now button on this page for instant access, lock in your copy today and start to tap into the power of 9 major search engines while benefiting from the Google Hummingbird update right now. Thanks for your time and I'll see you on the other side.